Hej, studi, witam wszystkich serdecznie. Z tej strony Helena, a to jest zagrajmy w Mafia 1. It was clear to me that I had to get out of there fast. I couldn't handle that animal on my own. I said to myself that now was probably the right moment for Mr. Salieri to show his gratitude. Salieri's bar was just down the street, and the sight of it was certainly a lot nicer than a baseball bat to my head. Ta, ah, cholera. Draśnięcie. Ale dobrze, spierdziałem przy nimi. Cholera <laughs> jasna, jeszcze raz. Dobra. Spotkaliśmy po drodze kochanków, którzy się nie zrozumieli. Salieri's boys saved my skin that time, but I certainly wasn't in a good situation. I had paid off my debts for the car repairs, but my boss didn't want to employ anyone who's in the mob. It just wasn't good business. When I saw the fancy getup of Salieri's boys, I thought that it can't be too bad to work for them. Besides, I had nothing to lose. Morella was out to get me, so driving a cab wasn't the best job. Plus, the prospect of Salieri's dough wasn't so terrible. So like I always say, better to die young and loaded. Udało nam się uciec, chwyciliśmy okazję i co się nam teraz spodzieje w życiu. Well, it looks like Morello is really trying to make me mad. But I'm a reasonable person. What do they call you, son? Thomas Angelo. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. We're one big family here. Do you already know Paulie and Sam? Frank here is my right hand and looks after the legal side of our business. The one behind the bar is Luigi. This business ain't easy to swallow, but Luigi's a wonderful cook. Paul will introduce you to Vincenzo and Ralph. There are a lot of us, but those should be enough for now. Now listen and listen good. We have some rules around here. Don't cross paths with the cops. They're on our payroll, so they'll leave you alone. But if you go too far, they'll all come after you. Money or no money. If they ever pick you up, say nothing, and I will take care of you. I show my gratitude to those people that helped me, and there aren't many left to betray me. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Salieri. I'm glad. Today I'll give you a chance to get back at those bastards who wrecked your taxi. We'll see what you're made of. Morello has a bar where all his gorillas go. They all have their cars parked behind the fence next to the bar. If you're good, they won't be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> Paulie will go with you just in case. Go see Vincenzo for equipment and Ralph for some wheels. I wouldn't trust him so much. He seemed hesitant. He's just accepting now because he has no choice. We'll see, Frank. We'll see. I'm more concerned about what Morello's problem is. Does he really want to start a war? Vincenzo is a Don's gun expert. They've known each other since they were kids. He gets you whatever you want. Tommy guns to cannons. Minnie can set you up. I always pay him a visit before a job. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Paulie. 
Careful with him, though. Nice a lot, Vincenzo. Bring back the bat. It's my nephew's. Sure thing. Polabym ten. To tego shotgun, dla którego masz na stole. Niż kiedy byś polowy, ale niech ci będzie. Ralph, I'll introduce you to as a complete idiot. But he's got a special way with cars. I don't get how such a moron could know anything about anything. But that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> a v v v v visit. How you all doing, Polly? Hey, Ralphie. Yeah, I s s see you're still limping, so we got two c cripples working here. That's right, but I ain't a fool. Um, uh -huh. Ralph, this is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, I'll make it your own, and no one will know the difference. Ralph, Tom and me have a job to do. You're supposed to have some wheels for us? Right. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> It ain't no hot rod, <laughs> but it should really do for you. Thanks, Ralphie. Let's go. Preza cocktailowa. Mm -hmm. Szkoda, że nie mogę się. Obracać kamerą, jak nie patrzę. Nie potrzebuję tej blokady, nie jestem taksówką. Hmm. Jak przychodziłam w samouczek, to mi powiedzieli, że lepiej jest się zatrzymać i zapłacić mandat, niż, niż, niż jechać dalej. Oczywiście, że się zdarzy. Dobra. Siedzisz w samochodzie? Podkręcić ci szybę, żebyś miał ten? Czy oddychać? Tam nie drzwi? Nie. Jak bardzo się zapadnie. Dobra, bardziej się nie chce zapaść. A jednak. Chuj, nic nie będziecie widzieć. Ohaha. Szlak by cię. Jak się zorientowali? Chyba za głośno. Się zrobiło nagle. Tam w ogóle ludzie nie reagują, że sobie koleś leży, a papka przechodzi bez, bez najmniejszego problemu. Ej, ty chuju! Co to ma być? 
Halo. Kurna. Dobra, zabijcie mnie, bo... Au. A, sorry. No, wsiadaj. Ty też. Co teraz? Teraz wracamy, tak? Dobra. To było ciekawe zdarzenie. Dobra, bo mi się w samochód zaczyna dymić. Muszę uważać, mam temperaturę gdzieś pokazał mi. O, ty chuj. Policja coś zrobi? To jest najbardziej pasjonujący pościg świata. No, no, no. No dalej. Okej, okay, okej, okay, okej. Okay. Dobra, z egzakiem udało nam się wjechać. O jest. Jestem demonem prędkości. Już? Dobra. Trzeba było wyjść do środka, widzę. Jak się spisał? Tak, boss. Wonderful. Take a seat. It all went well. Sure, boss, he's a natural. Before they get tak. second only, they were wheelers. And before they could recover, we were gone. Ta. Mhm. Mm Rello's probably pretty pissed right now. Really? I'm glad to hear it. He's one tough customer. In that case, Welcome to the family, Tommy. You've passed the first It's test. It's an honor, sir. And now we've got a new member. I like to take him into the outfit, boss. You can see he ain't scared, and he's done real good. You didn't disappoint me, Tommy. Now, let's drink. Thanks. No, tak, bo jak się. Skowne zadanie, jak się uczymy kraść samochody, to. Today we're gonna visit a few places to collect some protection money. Two restaurants and a motel outside of town. Bill at the motel was late last time because he had a few problems. So today he'll pay a little more. You may have heard about how criminals can prey on businesses using various threats. That certainly isn't the case with us. People who pay us receive services. Which the police certainly can't provide them with. Last month, for example, Sam and Paulie here solved a serious problem with violence in a delightful restaurant. The owner is now satisfied that nothing of that sort will happen there again. You'll do the driving. Paulie and Sam will do the collecting. It'll be routine. Tell Ralph to give you a car, and you can go. Okay, boss. Well, you and I'll have a drink. What do you say, Frank? <laughs> Mogłbyś mi zostawiać drogi, byłabym bardzo wdzięczna. Vincent jest. Gdzie się idzie do Vincenta? Tutaj. Czy tutaj? Nie, na serio, gdzie się idzie do Vincenta? Tu go nie ma. Hmm. 
Não, tu sei. Now we're gonna take it some country air. Hang the clock's motel out of town. Hmm, the buzz is so much good. Ha. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Let's go. Zapalisz na stacji paliw? Sparywałeś? Ale mam uciąć na ślad. No właśnie. W stacji benzynowej się nie pali kretynie. Są opary benzyny, które też się mogą zapalić, wiesz? Jaki fajny kółeczka. No, kiedy tam się rozpęta strzelina? No właśnie. Shit! Bastards! Tam I! I took one! Ah! It hurts! Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? Don't come back here. You'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They want to beat some information out of him. Get him out of there. But I gotta get you to a doctor. That'll wait. First, get Sam. Screw regular routine. Nie wejdę tam, to co? Jest jakiś psiak? A, muszę wejść górą, co? Czy jest jakiś wucet? Dobra. Zabierz tego kolta. O! Gdzie jesteś? Dobra. Hmm. Ja mam niestety apteczki. Już nic nie ma. Zabierzmy od ciebie. Cześć. Get up, Sam. It's over. You really went to work on you, buddy. Let's go. Christ. It's nothing. You'll be all right. The doctor will put you back together again. You're tough as nails. Oh. Oh shit. It's a bit fun, isn't it?
That's it. I'll get you back in the car. Everything will be okay. Don't move, scumbag, or I'll fill you with holes. Serio? Come on. Just try it. You won't get past me. Sure thing, buddy. Uh, just stay cool. Everything's okay. Just go. No problem. Just try it. No. God. Uh, go. Get him. Mogę, nie mogę, chciałabym w ciebie strzelić. Uciekł. No oczywiście, że uciekł. Tylko na ogonie to on też przyspiesza, więc... Okay. 1938. O, troszkę czasu minęło, 8 latek. To było tyle? To było całe zadanie? Ja się przy tym tyle męczyłem? Wszystkie i don't need violence in my life, and I don't look for trouble, but I also don't have any remorse. They wanted to outsmart us, so we had to outsmart them. No excuses. It was all the same to me. I wasn't interested in the fates of other people. Everybody said it was just business, and that the family sticks together. It was different from living alone and nobody giving a damn about you. Suddenly you're respected by all the people you meet. Everybody knows you can help them. But you can also destroy their lives. And everybody tries to ingratiate themselves to you. And what about the police? You just walked away, just like that, from a massacre. Didn't you have any problem with this? You work for the police. You ought to know. You know, the Mafia runs the whole city. The Salieri family makes over 25 million bucks every year. The papers were full of it. But nobody saw nothing. If they wanted to stay alive. We paid off the bureaucrats six grand a month. Your bosses had liquor at trade price and got payouts for special jobs from both Salieri and Morello. Case closed, lack of evidence. Cops would even move shipments of drink for us. I guess you'd have heard something about that. So what about your two friends? Well, they were better off than you'd think. Salieri had a good doc for his boys, and it's not like he ever asked any questions. In a few weeks, they'd be healthy and back on the streets again. The only one who worried us was Morello. He wanted to be the big cheese, which Salieri couldn't let him do. Salieri had no intention of being in second place. You know, a person becomes a Don because of his thirst for power. And he doesn't care about any other rules than his own. That's how it is, Detective. So he'd be his own boss, independent of the police, of the state, of anyone. That's why a person becomes a Don. Salieri and Morello both wanted it all. They kept sparring with each other, but they both knew that if it all blew up, it would be hell. The big difference between them was in their methods. I heard a little story about Morello. Hmm. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um, you I idiot. mean it. Do you know what you've done? You know how much that car cost? 
I, uh, I was driving slowly, Mr. Morello. Uh, I don't know how, uh... Do you mean to say that I... I crashed into your car? Uh, uh, no. Sir, I, uh, I only... I wanted... Uh, no, sir, I... No! Faster! Get in my way! Salieri built his respect as a businessman. Everybody knew that they didn't need to fear him if they did what they should. They knew that if they needed something, they could come to Mr. Salieri. So Salieri made friends, often helped people with various problems, and expected the same in return. When somebody crossed him, they broke a cardinal rule, and everybody knew what would happen. Morello was just a mean bastard. He built his power through violence. Even his friends feared him. Most people just tried to avoid him. Czysta gra. 732. Listen, Tommy. I have a delicate job for you. I don't know anyone else who could do it better than you. You're a good driver, and you have experience. Well, to make it simple, tomorrow all the best motors are going to race at the city track. And I bet on one kid who's been a favorite up until now. I helped him along in his career a little. I like fast cars, and I said to myself that I could make back a little on that investment. You understand? And then Ralphie starts saying that some European has come over, and his car is certain to win. Ralphie knows cars. He's real good with them. But otherwise, he's a complete moron. <laughs> what, he couldn't have told me before I bet on the kid? But still, what the hell is a guy, God knows from where, doing here? These are American races. Me and the consigliere here were thinking about what to do. Because a lot of our boys have bet the same as me. And they certainly wouldn't be happy if they lost their dough. And how would that make me look? Like an old idiot. Tommy, I can't let that happen. We thought, with our consigliere, about what to do with it. If something happens to him, that's no way. It won't be fair play. I won't enjoy my winning at all. Ralph told me that he knows a guy who guards the racetrack garage. Tonight, you're gonna go there and take this European's car to a but mechanic who knows his way around these machines. He'll take a look at theirs and maybe improve ours. As soon as he's finished working on it, you'll take it back. It's important that the car is back in its place before anybody catches on. And don't even think but about crashing it or getting I... caught by the cops. Are we clear? Yes, boss. If you pull it off, you'll of course get a share of the winnings. Now go. Ralph will tell you where and how. Ok, musimy się udać porozmawiać z Ralfem. Ja w ogóle nie wiem, czy nasz przyjaciel, którym sterujemy, nie jest czasem psychopatą. Prędzej się tu kurwa wychodzi, tędy. Nie ma skrupułów, więc może być nieciekawie. Ale dobra, pójdzie, ogarniemy sobie ten samochodzik w kolejnym odcinku, a w tym dziękuję Wam bardzo serdecznie za uwagę i to usłyszymy ponownie. Na razie.